And one more very important thing is that um, I should add to the definition. I told you guys that the def definition of a string was a sequence of characters. It's actually a sequence of characters terminated by the null character. And the null character looks like backslash zero. It looks like this. So I could kind of do this and make my own little null or whatnot. Just like the carriage return or the backslash n is new line, the null character is backslash zero. And so what it the backslash zero does is it basically lets the compiler know that, okay, this is the end of this string. Whatever string I'm at, this is the end of it. So we didn't put one here, but if we were to put a backslash zero here, the compiler would better be able to tell that this is the end of this string. And here we have 50 and then we just had the first five. Really what we have is 50 spaces and the first five are T-H-I-S period. And the last, the very last, last space is a null terminator. So really if you think about it, we have 49 empty characters or 44 once we put these five in and then we have 44 and then the null terminator i hope that math didn't confuse you guys it's really not that complicated so for a better example here string one instead of having 10 empty spaces we have nine empty spaces and a backslash zero right so that kind of make more sense um Without this here, whenever we're printing or reading the string, the compiler won't know where to stop because it doesn't have the null terminator or the stop sequence or the stop thing, whatever you want to call it. And one last part, just to just just to keep it fresh in beginners' heads, it's like it's really better. Let's name this something. it's really better to do things like this so that we know that, hey, we can put up to nine characters in here and the last spot is reserved for the null character. That is pretty, that's just a beginner's trick that um, a lot of CS students use in order to understand what's going on. Also, when using printf to print a string, it's pretty similar with strings use um, percent %s for a string and then you give the string name so string 2 this would print this and when using scanf you're going to use percent %s again the only oh this low case the only difference here is that you do not need because of the, what strings are you do not need the ampersand or the address operator in front of your string name or your ver your string variable in order to store a new string within it. However, you do need to make sure that the string fits. So for example, if I use this scan if right now, we see that name has nine open spaces and one for the null terminator. So that means that if I were to compile this and I print put in a name for n the name variable then I would have to put nine characters or less and hit enter if I put 11 or 12 or if I put 10 that's going to take up all the spaces including the null terminator and that's going to do some really, really weird stuff to our string so we don't want to do that so always make sure that you declare strings big enough so that the user may actually enter data that is going to fit and not overwrite the null terminator. So these are the most important things about strings. Um, again, they get way more technical. We're not gonna go into depth. The next video is gonna be over something completely different, but I just wanted to get you guys familiar with this subject. Um, so stay tuned and I'll see you next time. Thanks.